641 heart failure impacts six and a half million Americans. That's according to the CDC and getting the right treatment is key to living longer. A cardiologist shows us new technology being used to treat some of the most severe cases of heart failure in this week's Ask the Expert. One of the more alarming forms of heart disease is called heart failure. Heart failure happens when the heart cannot pump enough blood and oxygen to support other organs in your body. Dr. Jeffrey Sinfield is a cardiologist at Bon Secours St. Francis. So you have symptoms such as shortness of breath or leg swelling, um, you know, lethargy, and, and that can lead to physical debility. By 2030, the American Heart Association estimates more than 8 million people in the United States, one in every 33, will have heart failure. Dr. Sinfield says sometimes the medications prescribed to treat heart failure aren't successful. Some people, even despite taking appropriate dosages of, dosages of their medicine, still struggle with the symptoms of heart failure. A new device is helping patients experiencing heart failure live more comfortably. So this device is called the CCM device, which stands for Cardiac Contractility Modulation. So it is a pacemaker-like device, although it is not a pacemaker because it doesn't actually pace the heart. Here's how it works. There's two leads that are connected inside of this device. You would implant it under the skin right about here or on this side of the chest as well, okay? And the leads will go into a vein that goes into the heart and we put two leads into the lower chamber of the heart that deliver the high uh, voltage impulses to hopefully increase the heart function. Dr. Sinfield says some patients who were once bedridden are returning to their daily activities with this new technology. And there's been three or four high quality clinical trials and it's gained FDA approval. And then uh, the trials have demonstrated about an 80% response rate. Dr. Sinfield says this device is a complement to the large volume of care that a person would receive for heart failure. It's always important for patients to also eat healthy, reduce sodium intake, and take any prescribed medications. Taylor Murray, 7 News. To submit a health topic for our Ask the Expert series, just head to WSPA.com, click the News tab, and then click Ask the Expert.